Welcome to another episode of Tech Talk Today. I'm your host, and today we're diving into a fascinating topic, data communication through sound. That's right. We're exploring an innovative little library called G-Wave, which allows communication of small data snippets between air gap devices using sound waves. Now, if that sounds like something out of a sci-fi film, hold on to your headphones because it's very real. Now let's start with the basics. GigiWave employs a method known as frequency shift keying, or FSK. Don't worry, you don't need an engineering degree to understand this. Let's break it down. Imagine sending a message by adjusting the pitch of a note you're playing on a piano. Each note represents different bits of data. GigWave cleverly uses these sound frequencies to encode tiny chunks of information, like a secret musical language that only devices can understand. So picture this. You're at a coffee shop, and you want to share a file with someone close by, but you don't have access to Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. No problem. With GigiWave, you simply play a sound, and voila. The other person's device captures the sound and decodes it into data. It's almost like sharing a message in a bottle, but instead, it's a bottle filled with sound waves flying through the air. Isn't that cool? But it gets even better. The bandwidth of this system is around 8 to 16 bytes per second, which might sound tiny, but it's perfect for sending short messages or small files. Additionally, GigiWave incorporates error correction codes. Yes, this technology is robust. It ensures that the data sent is accurately received without too many hiccups. You might be wondering about its applications. Well, the possibilities are exciting. We could see it being used in Internet of Things devices, allowing everyday objects to communicate in ways we never imagined. For instance, think of a wireless smart home device that interacts with your phone using just sound. That's pretty next level, right? And for those interested in development, the library is really user-friendly. You can set it up with various audio backends like Pulse Audio or Alsa. Plus, there are plenty of examples included if you want to play around and test it out for yourself. You can even create audio QR codes that let people share information in a fun and interactive way. Imagine sharing your music playlist just by playing a short tune. Now with technological advancements like these, it's essential to keep discussing the implications they might have. As we enable devices to communicate more freely, what do you think are the potential privacy and security challenges we might face? I mean, could someone listen in on these sound waves? It's a thought-provoking question, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. As we wrap up today's episode, let's take a moment to appreciate the ingenuity of projects like GG Wave. They remind us how creative solutions can solve real-world problems like sharing data without relying on traditional connectivity options. So, whether you're a developer, a tech enthusiast, or just curious about innovative methods of communication, I hope this episode sparked some inspiration. Thanks for tuning in to Tech Talk today. If you enjoyed this episode, please share it with a friend, and don't forget to subscribe for more exciting discussions on cutting-edge technology. Until next time, keep exploring the incredible world of tech.